As autumn colors emerge in the Northern Hemisphere, a perennial puzzle returns. Why do seasonal displays in the United States and Europe often look different? While red and yellow-hued leaves abound in parts of America and East Asia, Northern European leaves tend only to turn shades of yellow. To understand this phenomenon, first recall the function of fall. Green leaves on deciduous trees change color because chlorophyll pigments decline in cooler months. Yellow and orange carotenoid pigments, already present in leaves, finally come out in the absence of green. Red pigments are trickier. They come from anthocyanins, which trees only produce in autumn. Anthocyanins might protect trees in many ways, potentially warding off sun damage, unseasonable freezes, and insect predators. So why would some trees be missing the red pigment altogether? A 2009 study offered one explanation. Finnish and Israeli researchers wrote that 35 million years ago, deciduous trees began to evolve amid dueling ice ages and dry spells. In North America and East Asia, north-south mountain formations allowed animals and plants to migrate as ice pushed in and then receded. Meanwhile, the east-west Alps formations in northern Europe trapped plants and insects in the glacial onslaught. That may mean American and East Asian trees evolved to produce red pigments to ward off insects. Whereas in some European trees, that process was halted by the decline of many species killed by the ice. As proof, the study pointed to Scandinavian dwarf shrubs. They provide a relatively rare display of autumn red in northern Europe. They also survive the ice ages under the snow, along with many insects the shrubs may have evolved to ward off. Whether or not this explanation ultimately holds up in the fossil record, it's a reminder that autumn colors are really a display of trees' natural endurance developed over millions of years.